Oh, 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 oh. there he is. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell y'all, today what I'm doing is I'm fishing out of St. Bernard Parish. I'm fishing a really known place called Stone Island. And the reason why I'm doing a, a show here and a concept here is that I wanna show you what an island structure like this with tons of structure around it, how it appeals to a lot of predator fish that are out there and bait fish to help us catch a lot of fish. And here comes a beautiful old speckled trout, it looks like. You never know what you're gonna catch out here. Redfish, specks, the whole nine yards. Oh man, look at that. Oh, first fish of the morning, about a three pounder. Look at that, unbelievable. Awesome speckled trout on a top water. And what we're doing is we're keying in on the structures that are in here that the fish wanna hold on because there's so much bait fish around here. This little Sea Eyes Miralu, one of my favorite top waters to use. I use this a lot in the chartreuse. You've seen it on the show a bunch. But look at that beautiful speckled trout. First thing in the morning, you couldn't ask for anything better than that. Oh wow, I'm gonna have an awesome day. <laughs> All right, now, look, I'm at this island, and, and this is out of St. Bernard Parish, but anywhere along the Gulf Coast and the East Coast, when you have island structures like this, they're all the same. And what I love to do is, is I come up to these structures with top waters, and the reason for that is, is that early morning, low light conditions will always favor using a top water. But then once the sun comes up, you change your tactics, go to a popping cork, you wanna try something a little bit like um, under the subsurface, and use that. Let's see. Oh, another big trout. And the thing is, is that trout, you see how easy he came off that top water? He's got a lot of weight to him. Settle down and I'll let you back in. Look at that. Beautiful speckled trout on top waters. And the reason why these fish get on this structure like this is, is because there's, oh, there's bait. There's everything up there for them. There's structure, there's bait, and there's a place for them with current to come through where they can ambush their bait. What I have up here, the scenario is, I've got a point of an old little part of an island that's right here. There's mullet stacked up on that little point. And what I'm doing, I'm throwing a top water through there, mimicking a wounded bait fish coming through those mullet. And when it comes out of the school, guess what? The red fish and the speckled trout are there to eat it. I'm gonna get another one. Come on, you got it. There he is. <laughs> oh, did he get off? No, he's on there. Okay. Now, one thing that you wanna do is when you approach these islands like this, like I'm talking about, what you wanna do is you wanna come up and look for the bait first and then find out where the current, what way the current's moving so you can apply that by using your power pole to position your boat correctly to where you have the ideal spot to be able to fish. And that's what I've done. My tide is going this way. My wind is a little bit cross here, but it's perfect. I'm power pole down just in casting distance to the furthest I can throw in the top water, which is pretty far. And then what I wanna do is I wanna work it through that bait fish like that. Here comes another nice speckled trout. Notice that a lot of these fish that you're catching and stuff, what happens is these, these big fish like this, they're all up on here feeding on big bait. So you have to throw something out really big. If I was using live bait, hey, they'll hit shrimp. But if you really want to get the big ones, like the ones I'm catching on these top waters right now, I mean, they're all threes and two and a half to threes. These fish right here are feeding on fin fish. They want fish that, something that looks like a mullet or a pogey or a croaker. If you had live bait, I would bring a croaker out or pogies, throw a cast net and catch them. These things will eat that up like crazy. It's just an awesome way to come out and structure fish. That's what you wanna do. That's what we're doing right now. Oh, there he is. He smacked that top water. Now, I'm fishing here top waters. I'm catching them like crazy. I could switch to other baits. I just enjoy it a lot fishing with this. But a lot of people are gonna ask, like, what would you use if you were using plastics? My water's really clean. I'm early in the day. 
I would probably use something that was really clear, like a natural color, like a uh, blue moon or open and night with maybe like a little chartreuse tail on it just to have a, a triggering effect. Because it's really hot, I mean, you can see I'm sweating. It's, it's an extremely hot day today. You always have to remember that your, your fishing is going to be pretty much within the first two to three hours of the morning. Once that happens, you've got to get to deeper water to be able to catch these fish because they want to be somewhere where it's oxygenated and that it's cooler because down deep it's cooler water. But early in the morning, structures like these islands like this, you can't beat it. I mean, as you can tell, what an awesome fish. Unbelievable. Man, I am having a great day. Some really big trout. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Man, let me tell y'all, I saw some mullet get blown up behind me. I hurry up and threw in there. Boy, this big old speckled trout ate it. Well, let me tell you, this is a concept that it seems like it's based pretty easy in the ways of, you know, anybody come out and fish islands. But the thing is, is that you want to find islands that have structures, rocks, shells, old docks, debris. Those things attract Oh, it's a big fish. Those things attract really big trout and they attract a lot of bait fish. If this concept doesn't get y'all going, I don't know what will, because let me tell you, look at this thing, about five pounds. Maybe a little bigger than five. On that top water, a round structure on a big island out in Black Bay in St. Bernard Parish. You can go anywhere and replicate this. I fished Timbalier before islands. I fished over along Ship Island and caught trout doing exact same thing, just looking for these type of structures. Awesome, and that's your concept. Woo, I love it.